What's up, Bart Peoples? Big Tuna here, and today it's another crappy weather day. Why is it always crappy weather when I want to install something on my side? But anyway, today we're going to install a lift kit on the side by side. It's from Perfects Industries, and I'm sure it's going to be a perfect fit. <laughs> that was that was a really bad joke. That's what I'm good at. And we got our oh you know the best thing about this lift kit isn't the lift kit it's not all the hardware it's it came with stickers i mean what an added bonus my wife doesn't understand why i'm so happy about this but the reason i bought this is because my wife said we need a lift kit and i'm like hell yeah so hey that, that's just pretty cool. Well, the back is done. And uh, now we're gonna do the front. And, uh, Cause I got it in the garage. Ooh. Yeah, that's close. <laughs> And there you have it. Lift kit is installed. A couple of bolts in the front, a couple of bolts in the back. And uh, yeah, I took my tires off. You don't have to take the tires off. They do recommend it, but I took the tires off because I want to check my brake because I had a, a brake light come on last ride I was on and uh, my brake fluid was low. And yeah, I need front brakes now. Yep, 2,500 kilometers and I already need front brakes. Yeah, I guess I'm hard on the on the braking then. So hey, pro tip: don't use the brakes. Yeah, that'll save them. Oh yeah, pretty happy with the. I can actually tell a bit of a difference, and now I'm gonna go take it for a little spin just to see how it handles. And it kind of sounds weird right now when I'm. Uh, putting in when I drove it in the garage and it sounds like it's I don't know, like it's not getting enough power or something I don't know, my, my dad took it the other day and uh, he doesn't drive these things and I don't know, maybe he had it in low and he went too fast I don't know what what happened but yeah we're gonna do a little testaroni and see what's going on peace all right well See why it sounds like this.
I don't know if it was just the belt that was wet or I don't know, maybe my dad had it in low gear and revved it too high and I don't know. Seems to be working okay now. And uh, it's just a two inch lift kit. Uh, it's not a huge difference. I was thinking about going with a 2.5. It's just half an inch. You know, no matter what my wife says, half an inch can make a difference. But uh, and it has a really cool crossbar that comes with it, like a really nice crossbar. But I mean, you don't really see the crossbar because it's under all the hood and, and all that stuff. But uh, with the two inch lift kit, now I can get, uh, you know, like bigger tires, bigger rims, bigger. And I can get 14s instead of 12s for the rims. And I can get 28s, maybe 29s instead of 27s. So that's going to help with lifting it up a little bit more, too. And maybe get some spacers down the road. Just make it a little wider. And look, there's something I gotta fix. Look at that. This is not a watertight machine. Like, it's just, it's raining inside of the machine. But, I mean, you know, you get wet in these things, but 
it's uh it's annoying when you're driving and it drips right on your hand the whole time that's just uh it's just one of those little finicky things that I'm finicky about I guess but uh hey Chihuahua works good and uh hopefully I'll be able to I was supposed to hit the trails tonight and uh with this weather like we were supposed to go out at the hideout and have bonfire and everything but <laughs> we're not gonna have a bonfire when it's pouring rain yeah thanks mother nature but the trails are real fun though nice and slippery and stuff so but not really uh s'mores uh conditions right now See you next time, folks.